Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. In yesterday's video, I told you guys that I'd be surprised if Icon Swaps 3 came. And guess what? Here's my shocked face. Because Icon Swaps 3 was dropped yesterday with a loading screen about six hours before it was dropped. And, uh, of course, everybody right now is on this game grinding the insane Icon Swaps. This is like the best value for time, for when it's been released in the game, icon swaps I think we have ever had. The players are great, the packs are great, and the icon upgrade, player picks and packs as well, are absolutely fantastic. So, no complaints from me. There is a lot to grind on this game right now. And of course, what we also have to talk about today is the market, because the market is just rising, right? The fact is that people are starting to buy some of those cards for their teams and... The panic selling is just kind of ending. That's also where uh, this market rise is coming from, right? One example just looking at right now that I see on flipping over to my left is Jordan Henderson, who was like 380,000 coins two days ago, is now 430,000 coins. I got countless examples of cards that are moving up in price, and it's probably going to continue that way throughout this week unless EA do something crazy. So we're going to talk about all that in today's video, talk about icon swaps, maybe the best value. There's so many options. And of course, look at today's content on Tuesday because Champions League is back and we have live items with upgrade potential and market moving. Uh, once again, probably some more TOTS warm-up series packs today. I don't know if I would expect a really, really big day of content because of course EA knows they just yesterday dropped an insane grind for a lot of people with the gameplay for the objectives for Icon Swaps 3. So what might be a bit of a quieter Tuesday, we will have to see. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, as always, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's start off by talking about the market. Let's take a look at some prices because a lot of cards that I see right now uh, are starting to trend upwards. The market is rising from those panic selling moments that we had over the weekend. Not every single card, but most cards are up. Remember in last night's video, we saw Marco Royce for 330, 340,000 coins. My guy is back to almost 370k. Dempsey was 150. He's now back to 170. You know, Yunberg is back up 40k. Mings was like 245, 250. He's now 280,000 coins. You know, some cards are still a little bit low. Uh, like, let's see, uh, Ben Yetter was 820 last night. I bought one. He's about 840 right now. Still pretty pretty rare to 870. So not everything in the whole entire game is up, but a lot of stuff is starting to trend in that way. Foot birthdays as well. You know, Paqueta has been a card that we've been looking at a lot. I saw just a couple hours ago, um, Paqueta was actually over 500K, and now he's back down a little bit, but, you know, we look at this guy like every single video, and you're like, Nate, stop looking at Lucas Paqueta, but he's kind of, he's risen up a bit, right? I would not be surprised if he's over 500k pretty consistently after today. He's only got one page to be there. You've got other cards like Roberto Firmino, 760k, so this guy was like 720,000 coins uh, a couple days ago, now he's 760, so he is on the rise. Fakir is starting to rise back up. Again, I could continue to look through players upon players on this market and a lot of them just continue to slowly rise now like this tony cruz at 320 that's a bit of an undercut right there that's still decently low there are still cards that are kind of low ish or cards that haven't really moved that much so saying the market is rising does not of course encompass the entire market as a whole but a lot of cards can be put under that umbrella that are rising up now one exception yesterday was Pedri and now Pedri is back up but for whatever reason there was some panic selling on future stars Pedri yesterday uh, and this guy was like 1.05 it was a it was a tremendous opportunity to buy this card he was literally down a hundred thousand coins now he's back up to kind of where he was so if you got in on that ggs there were some other cards that were down yesterday I know two examples just from the top of my head are both future stars items Ferran Torres was like 460 and I believe now he's back up to almost 500k, 485. So, you know, both of these cards for future stars for him were pretty low. So as it goes for the market in general, with these cards really starting to bounce back and with these player prices starting to rebound over the week this week, um, if you've bought cards, are you selling them? Not really, not yet, right? All the cards that I invested basically 22 million coins on my account into out-of-pack special cards, 
I'm not looking to sell these cards this week. Maybe one or two of them. Maybe I'll take the cash on if I feel like the rises are just simply too much in such a short time frame. And I want to have some coins for this Friday. Uh, look at Kimpembe, incredibly, incredibly rare, but 460, 500,000 coins from where he was at 430. That just might be a moment of rarity. But again, yeah, he was 490 earlier today. So a lot of these cards are just bouncing back. And as you take a look at prices on the market, that is a very, very consistent trend. It's because the panic selling is ending. People are starting to buy cards for their teams. And this week is kind of a slower week of content. So again, there's really not a reason to sell. And that's why you've seen, that's why you have seen all the prices dropping over the past few weeks is because people had reasons to sell, right? All of this time where we were getting panic sold since the start of April, down, 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 it reached the low point. We had another low point this weekend, and now cards are starting to rise back up again. So if you feel like you missed out, I still think some cards are low enough to buy. I think there are still cards that are going to continue to bounce back more in price for sure. I would stick to the out-of-pack special cards, and I would stick to stuff that is you know, rare and popular. Like I bought some Urentes at 340 350 on some undercuts. Ooh, that Tellez is looking pretty cheap there at, at 108 That actually just got upgrade, updated, so... I will go ahead and take a look at this card right here. I do think that some cards are um, kind of out of reach and probably are not at their good prices anymore. Is this sitting there at 108? You know what? I'm just gonna let that sit. Maybe somebody will undercut that uh, and, and throw up something cheaper because that is a pretty low price for Mr. Alex Tellez. But, um, and this is something you do late night. Sometimes you let cards sit up. Oh, I just gotta sell. Sometimes you let cards sit up and then Footbin will catch those undercuts and then people will list below that. And that's great stuff. So I am not really selling too many things. I did just sell the Suarez that I bought at 367 or something like that. Not a lot of profit there, but I think that there's going to be some community tots leaks probably um, in the next couple of days. And I think Suarez is going to get in. So I'm just kind of taking the safe cash on that um, just because I don't want to risk his price dropping with some leaks of him potentially being in community tots, which I do imagine that he would be. So that's the state of the market right now. Cards rising back up a little bit. Still think they have more to go. So just buckle in, watch the cards rise up. Again, the only thing that would contradict that rise would be some content from EA Sports that would be crazy content. I think we still have not seen the 85 times five eFigs upgrade pack yet. So whenever that drops, that might be a little bit more of an expensive SBC that could cause maybe a slight dip in some prices. I wouldn't expect it to be a huge dip for uh, by any means. And I need to do these times 11 SBCs or I'm going to forget. So mental note to do these and save them for the league uh, tots, of course. But um, I don't think there would be anything super crazy today. Maybe a, a campaign bag player pick. We've seen those consistently on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Um, maybe one of those coming out pretty soon. But other than that, I don't think there'd be a crazy day of content today on Tuesday, as well as the potential for UEFA marquee matchups. And I we didn't see that last uh, Tuesday. There was Champions League like two weeks ago, I think, and even last week in general. We did not see that. So I'm not sure if we're going to get UEFA marquee matchups this late because there's only, of course, one game today, Real Madrid versus Manchester United. Huge game. And I've got some Bale wants to watch is on my transfer list, hoping that he maybe rises up a little bit today pregame. And then I'll take the cash on those probably to sell in the hype. I would love to get uh, 281. I would love to get like 300K because he is really, really rare. Not that many cards to 290. So if he does have a bit of a rise, I'll try to get him out at like 300K. That would be a nice bit of easy profit right there, of course. So there's going to be more live items on the line with upgrades on the line today as well. Guys like Marez, um, guys like Kyle Walker, and Gareth Bale. I think those are the only live items uh, today that are having upgrades pending on this outcome of the game. Although it would not, of course, the cards would not upgrade until after the second leg. This leg would just be the first leg, but it would and it probably will impact prices on the market. So, you know, it's probably going to be a bit of a quieter time on the market, being completely honest, right? What's the main grind right now in this game? The main grind is the icon swaps that EA dropped yesterday, right? Icon swaps set number three. Now, again, we didn't have any leaks. We had literally zero leaks, not even the, um, there was a couple leaks maybe right before content drop about what the objective requirements were going to be. But this is just such a w and in my opinion it's basically the best icon swaps for the time of the game that we are in the rewards that we get for how many tokens you have to turn in think about casuals on this game five tokens for an icon moments goalkeeper right 
seven tokens for an icon moments dog leash uh just i think this icon swaps is tremendous value whatever way you want to look at it if you're going to grind all 18 tokens if you're just going to grind the fodder packs which there are four fodder packs or if you just want to grind for for like players right and what set of icon swaps have we seen in the past year that has been like wow i really want to grind for the players icon swap set too there was a few in there right but literally every single one of these choices for the amount of tokens that they are for players hold it at 17 okay it's not the moment but it's still good mateus is awesome at 14 eto is great best is great roberto carlos is insane uh, like literally an end game one of the best left backs uh in the game for eight tokens that's it and an icon moments goalkeeper that will be a mainstay in your starting 11 for the rest of the year for five tokens tremendous tremendous dub the 84 times 25 the 85 times 20 pack um i know a lot of you guys are maybe even grinding for this for like a first set of tokens that's the only l with icon swaps right that you can only get the first nine tokens and then i think it's almost it's like 28 days from now we will be able to get the second set of nine. So you can't get anything higher than the 93 plus icon moments pack um, or George Best technically with all nine swap tokens from this set of objectives that are dropped. So nothing past George Best can you get until the May 23rd timeframe. So it is gonna be a little bit of a wait if you're wanting to go for the 94 plus, the moments player pick uh, or the 93 plus attacker midfielder moments player pick. But again, there's just so many angles that you could take a look at this and say, wow, this is great value. Can we just note that last year in Icon Swaps 3, which came out during Team of the Season, by the way, this came out during La Liga Tots, so like three weeks after or four weeks after right now, we had not Moments Best, just Prime Best. We had Moments Schweinsteiger, who we've already had as an SBC in FIFA with a better card than this one for like three weeks. We had Pushkas, who we've already had an SBC for for a while. And we had Prime Vieira as the best card, 17 tokens. And we've had a Prime Moments Vieira SBC for a week now. There was an 84 times 20. No, so there wasn't even an 85 plus. There was a 93 plus Icon Moments player pick. And now this year we have a 94 plus pack. A 93 plus attacker midfielder pack. So if you compare last year's Icon Swaps 3 to this year's right now Icon Swaps 3, it's unbelievable. So GG's to EA got to give credit where the credit is due because this is an incredible grind and again like i said especially for a guy like me who loves taking these packs i'm gonna get all of the packs that i can for team of the season i'm gonna get the 84 times 20 or sorry 85 times 20 the 84 25 the 83 times 25 probably gonna take all of these and even the 82 times 25 right that is literally 95 players that i'm gonna be getting all 82 and above to craft sbc's to do a lot of that content that will be out during team of the season. And I know you're like, Nate, why wouldn't you just do Vander Sar as well? Yeah, I might end up doing Vander Sar. I might do all the packs and then with leftover tokens, do Vander Sar. Of course, I could do anything up to Dog Leash, the mid attack mid pack or Vander Sar, but Vander Sar would just be great for the team. So probably going to do that if I end up grinding all the tokens, which at the moment, it's just a perfect time to grind. And that's what everybody is doing is getting the swap tokens. And I think that's a great idea with you know the lack of crazy content that we have right now in this game it is a very very good idea to be going in here and getting these icon swaps done now i have not been claiming these because i was unassigned with gold rare meta or not gold rares out of packs informs and special cards investing all of my coins in for a market rise there uh, but i'm not on assignment anymore so i might start claiming some of these uh, but I have gotten, I got the Serie A done, Bundesliga, Ligue 1, um, and then I'm working on the Squad Battles games at the moment. I'm doing Silver MLS Brazilians, which those and uh, some English MLS Silvers are up big time as well. So, you know, I was buying Brazilian MLS Silvers for like 10,000 coins yesterday, and I do believe they're probably cheaper now. Um, and I probably paid, I paid 9 to 10K, and they're probably down, but... You know, that's the slight price you pay. I'd, I'd rather lose 20,000 coins than um, go out. Oh, are they still like 10,000 coins a piece? Are you serious? Wow, they're still like 9K. So right now, they're still 9,000 coins. Get your swaps games done. Sell those cards. Take the cash. And you'll be loving life. Oh, Van Dyke at 630. That was bought at 570. Big moves. Um, you know, that's what I would do right now with, with the swaps. Take this time of the lower, like, hype week of content to get some of this stuff done 
Um, evidently, I have Silver Beast going in here too. I need to maybe work on this. You can get a lot of objectives done. You can actually combine the TOTS warm-up series. Like you see here, I did League One, Serie A, and Bundesliga, all of those 81 times 11 packs, and then the 75 times 15 for League One. I did all of those while doing icon swap. So if you hadn't finished any of those, nice little double up there you can do for some of those. It's just, it's a great time to grind gameplay this week. And I think that's the focus for a lot of people. Uh, and also getting rivals games in to finish out the season, which I need to take control of and start doing pretty here, pretty soon here as well, trying to get at least for the last set of rewards for the season. So again, that icon swaps grind is just a tremendous dub. If I had to give you a best value, out of my opinion for what swaps was, um, I would have to say, I think with, you know, I know Icon Moments cards, yes, Icons are just, they're not as hyped this year, right? That's a fact that I think we can all basically agree on is that Icon Moments cards are just not as hyped. Icons in general, they're cheaper. The stat boost for Moments were, were pretty solid and they're still really, really good cards. But with the way the power curve has progressed with just the special cards that we have in this game, a lot of those outshine icons. And I think that's gonna be continually the case during team of the season. So it is very tempting to go for like Roberto Carlos and to get Edwin Vanderstar in my team. But I think I'm just gonna go with Vanderstar and then I'm gonna go for a lot of packs because all of the SBCs that are gonna be out during team of the season for players that I want to craft, upgrade packs and stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, I'm gonna be able to use the fodder that I get from this and put it into other Icon Moments players that maybe I want to do, that instead of trying to get a gamble pack to go and get them through, I can just go and finish an SBC for way cheaper than it would cost buying players off the market because crafting is, is so good. Um, I'll be able to get a lot of Icons in my club still through that manner. So last call for Oxlade Chamberlain, by the way, if you want to get that done, that SBC is expiring uh, today on this game. The League One Challenge, the 81 times 11, and I think we will be re-upping the 83 times five. I think this should be re up today. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure though. I've done that twice, I think. Hopefully we were able to do it another time uh, today on Tuesday. So other than that, there's really not any leaks. There is actually one leak now that I think about it, but it doesn't, it doesn't relate to any content that is coming out right away. At least it seems. There was some code, and we'll talk about this really quick to end the video. There was some code added yesterday about crossplay being tested in FIFA 22. Now, the code is very interesting because it's all over the place. This is a completely different code than what we're used to. Crossplay disabled, enabled, crossplay notification title, uh, crossplay pending invite. You know, it's all these like these messages that are maybe gonna pop up in game. So um, I again we do not know, and as Foot Sheriff said here for for his leak, he said uh, probably won't be on ultimate team, but definitely coming to FIFA 23. And it looks like it's going to somehow be tested in FIFA 22. I don't know if that's going to be in like seasons or pro clubs or Volta. I don't know, but it doesn't, I wouldn't imagine that it would be coming to, um, the ultimate team. Maybe who knows? We'll have to see you, but I would expect some more information along, uh, the lines of that. And maybe they're dropping that stuff in the code right now because they're actually going to do something for team this season with that. Who knows? So, uh, that's just something that we're kind of keeping in tune to and just kind of watching what's happening on the game because that would be very, very interesting if we had crossplay enabled at the end of FIFA 22 this year. So again, the story right now in the market is that cards are going up uh, because again, the panic selling has kind of bottomed out. And if you bought a, of cards, if you bought cards this weekend, like a lot of us did, then you're making coins really quick to talk about fodder. Fodder's just kind of chilling. Um, you know, there weren't really big SBCs yesterday. I think that if you're holding fodder still today, could be a day where you see some cards reach maybe some peaks. Today, tomorrow, probably gonna be some peaks, especially if you have another gamble pack, some other type of coin drain SBC. We could see the 84s, the 85s peak before they were are 100% gonna drop this weekend when TOTS cards are out and people are gonna be opening their packs. So. For, the, for these lower tier cards, definitely think about listing those for lazies if you've invested and maybe taking the coins on some of those. For your higher tier ones, um, you know, I haven't really sold the cards that I still had. Like Handanovich is 39K. That's where I bought him at. Jose Fonte is 47. That's where I bought him at too. So, you know, we're technically in the mud a little bit and losing only tax on a few of these cards right now. But the higher rateds are just not in demand. So unless EA surprise us 
with some sort of SBC this week, like another icon upgrade pack, not a player pick, then those cards are probably just going to maintain their value um, and just kind of kind of chill at their prices where they're at on the market and probably just be pretty stagnant and maybe drop a little bit as we get towards Friday. So that's going to be a bit of a waiting game if you want to wait that out a bit, which I am currently doing with the Fontes that I have. But I'm going to keep listing up my special cards for lazies, man, because I feel like the prices that I got on a lot of these cards were really, really good. Uh, again, we were looking at this on stream. Here's another example of a card that banged. This Chalmany, I got between 460 and 470 and no shot. Is this guy 540? Wow, 540. This Chalmany continues to rise um, as a French CDM. Very OP out of packs card. And, and that's where you're seeing the market rise up right now the most is on those items. Still has some Dempsey's. I got in the 140s. He's like 170. MLS objectives maybe helped him out a little bit today. Not too much. And then I still have a lot of stuff in the club too that I sent in there. So just selling cards that I think have risen up a lot, getting some quick flips, going to regain some coins back for the weekend of cards that have bounced up really quickly. Um, but that's the thing, right? Just keep watching the market bounce back up. We'll see if anything content wise today changes the market in that aspect. And we'll just be grinding some more icon swaps. Good luck getting your swap tokens. Good luck playing your games because that is the central focus of what is going on on this game right now so if you enjoyed today's video make sure to hit a thumbs up on it comment down below if you do have any questions and of course subscribe if you are new it has been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out